the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has decided to award the 2016 Nobel Prize in Physics with one half to David J. Thaulis and the other half to F. Duncan Haldane and J. Michael Kosterlitz for theoretical discoveries of topological phase transitions and topological phases of matter. And today's advanced technology, take for instance our computers, rely on our ability to understand and control the properties of the matters, materials involved. And this year's Nobel laureates have in their theoretical work discovered a set of totally unexpected regularities in the behavior of matter, which can be described in terms of an established mathematical concept, namely that of topology. This has paved the way for designing new materials with novel properties, and there is great hope that this will be important for many future technologies. I will start by explaining to you uh, a concept from the citation that might not be familiar to you, and that's the concept of topology. So I brought my lunch. Now, for us, you know, these things are very different. This is sweet, this is perhaps salty, different shapes, etc. But if you are a topologist, if you are a topologist, it's only one thing that is really interesting with these things in which they differ. This thing has no hole. The bagel has one hole. The pretzel has two holes. The number of holes is what the topologist would call a... Uh, topological invariant. And just as you cannot have a half a hole or two and two-thirds holes, you can, for a topological invariant, only have integer numbers. So what does this have to do with physics? Well, if we go back to 1980, it was a beautiful discovery made by Klaus von Klitzing. He gave him a Nobel Prize in 1985, actually, for what's called the quantum hole effect. What he did was that he took electrons, he confined them into a thin layer at very low temperature and at extremely high magnetic field. He found that when he measured the electric conductance in this system, he could see it came in steps. Nothing, or one unit, or two units. And this unit that he measured was to an extreme precision. So why could you get something which is so precise? There were ideas about that, but the real breakthrough came with the discovery of one of today's uh, uh, laureates, David Towers, who could see, who could show that these steps here actually can be explained as such a topological invariant. It's not exactly as the number of holes in a bagel or a pretzel, but it's something very, very similar. And this also explains why it is so precise, why it's so robust, why you get integer steps. Uh, Duncan Haldane, another of today's laureates, showed that you could do the same without having this very strong magnetic field. And for the continuation of this field, that was very, very important. Let's move on to the next concept in this citation, namely topological states of matter. How do you go from a gas to a liquid to a solid? You do it. You, that you know. You know. You lower the temperature. People believed that if you had these very thin layers, for instance, a thin liquid layer of helium, you would never have such a phase transition. That had been proven mathematically. But as when people prove that something cannot happen, it might be that they haven't thought of everything. And the thing that they did not think of in this case was this thing. They did not think of, well, not tornadoes, but vortices. This is the artist's renders, rendering uh, some layers of liquid helium. And you see, there are small vortices here. Here we have a blow up. You can see the liquid is whirling around here. Now, at very low temperature, these vortices always comes in pairs. Actually, it's one vortex going in this direction and another one going in that direction. It's a pair of vortex and anti-vortex. They keep together. When you raise the temperature a little bit, then what happens is that these over tight pairs now 
they will sail away and they become free. And that is a phase transition, a completely new kind of phase transition driven by topological effects. This prize here is for theoretical discoveries. It has combined beautiful mathematical and profound physics insights and achieved unexpected results that has been confirmed by experiments. That's what the prize is for. It's really beautiful and it's deep. Having said that, this work has inspired lots of activity in labs all over the world, international research. Scientists are hoping for practical applications in new electronics, new materials, even perhaps components in the future quantum computers.